All right, we have just hit the live button, and so finally we are on a live stream on my channel. So I already see a couple of people joining. So hi, CR. He says, hi, Russell, tuning in from Ireland. Oh, Ireland, that's awesome. It's nearly 11 p.m. Hey, here. Ireland. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're only going to take about an hour tonight or so. I, I don't think um, you're going to be up too late, hopefully. It must be late. pretty late in Ireland right now. Gosh. Right. <laughs> Seven hours ahead or something? Like Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, 11 p.m. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, that's definitely interesting. So, yeah, so I'm super excited. So this is um like one of the ones we did before with Jeff where basically we, you know, Jeff and I talk about a particular strategy or a service that he's running, kind of go through it. Um, I'm a subscriber, so I'm a long-term elite member and affiliate of Raging Bull. So let's go, Raging Bull. Yeah, so I get the inside scoop on everything. So I see every new service, I see every new result. And so one thing that really caught my eye, like this last, probably last few weeks was was this uh, service that you're running called uh, Alpha Hunter. And so particularly excited to see your October results. And so I'm trying to think of a good place to start with these informal sort of discussions. And maybe, the, maybe a good place is just to give a brief introduction into who you are because there's such a big... Big variation in audience that watch these things on YouTube that stay up forever, you know. <laughs> so, no kidding, but, right? Yeah. right? How long have you been with Raging Bull, by the way? I mean, it's probably five years. How long do you think? Uh, I'd guess probably five years, maybe five a bit years, more. So. It depends what you call Raging Bull. I was with Jason Bond Picks before you guys were really fully like kind of connected and things. So, ah, well, um, yeah, it's yeah, been it's a while like, then, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's been been a long time. So, so I've I've been a big fan of the services and used the services for years and years and years, um, which has been really fantastic. Um, and in particular, Bullseye Trades, like your Mara trade this last week, was just fantastic. Four hundred percent. If you got it from top to bottom. That was right. fantastic. I got 100% of that. Um, Andy is saying, the legend, Jeff. <laughs> so you've already got a fan showing up. Well, legend, you know, it's Jeff. interesting because, uh, you know, everybody thinks about me with Bullseye because that's like our most popular service at Raging Bull. It's, right. a, it's a weekly option trading service where I have one single idea, my highest conviction trading idea every week. So we kind of look at where the market is anticipated to go. We try to find an option contract that we think is going to be the most productive on there and we try to go after it each week so we have a full game plan we look at one option and we're buying an option that's the key we're buying an option or put every week and uh yeah. you know the last four weeks now have been fantastic like you said we just had mara did 400 percent possible the week before that was uh shorting nvidia which had 300 percent possible uh we had energy stocks the week before that which was erx at over 200 percent uh we had another stock for that the week before for over 100 percent. so it's been a really good run there and you think yeah. why don't you just keep like buying options all the time buying options are great the problem is buying options really aren't great it's not the best strategy and i'm not sure how much of your audience here is like an active option buyer but buying options is a pretty tough game you have to be really right on uh, the direction the stock's going to move like how fast it's going to make that move and you got to be right in like where it's going to get to so you have to nail a few things in a short period of time for it to work and the last few weeks have been really you know really successful that with bullseye but it's really tough like if you're going to try to make your living buying options either calls or puts it's tough it's a tough game it's it's stressful because like one week you might make like 400 percent, and next week you might lose 300 percent. selling options is more more consistent is kind of the word which reduces that mental load that more relaxed less of a job type of feeling is that how you kind of see it that's that's yeah kind of so it's it's just the other side of the coin so if you've ever bought options if, if you've you know honestly probably people are not making 100 200 every time buying options just not really that possible so if you're every time you lose buying options you just think about it like somebody else made that money like when you lose, if you buy Apple stock and you lose, you know, a thousand bucks in Apple stock, it's not necessarily someone else lost a thousand dollars. But uh, in an option contract, if you buy options and you lost a thousand dollars, well, someone else who sold it to you made that money. So it actually went. There's only it's a zero sum game. It goes in one pocket or the other. There, there's no in between. So like when you buy stocks, you know, it's not really like one guy loses, one guy uh, wins. With options, it's 100%. Somebody wins, somebody loses. And when you're buying options, you have, uh, you're already fighting an uphill battle. 
So you're already in a losing game to start every time. It doesn't mean you can't win. I mean, we just proved, like, we just showed four examples in the last month. You can win at buying options. But in general, the guy who sells options is going to win more often than not. And it's, it's like a casino. Like, you can go in the casino. And, like, I like to play blackjack. I know the odds are against me. It's fun, right? It's fun to play blackjack. I like it. Do you do, do, you do like, advanced strategy or anything? Like, you know, because you are Mensa 150 plus IQ, right? So you, <laughs> you've got that, that card counting ability, or you know, you're not there. No, yet. if I if I get to a casino, I'm not there to make money. I'm there to have fun. I'm I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna hang out with my boys. We're gonna have fun. I'm not really there to make money, so I I play the best blackjack I can. But I'm not there. To, I'm not that guy that's gonna sit there and grind it out for 20 hours and try to count really? decks and cards. Like, <laughs> Plus nowadays all the all the casinos are onto it. So they've got like eight shoe decks and everything, and you really can't count the cards. So uh, everything you saw on TV back in the day where they get the MIT students and take them to Vegas and count decks. Well, that's back when they used to have like two or three deck shoes. So it was different. You can't really count cards nowadays. It doesn't, right, doesn't right. make sense. <laughs> right. But anyway, I like full back check. And um I, I know I'm gonna lose money, probably, but I might not. So I know I've got a losing bet going into like I, I walk in the casino, I'm going to have fun. And I know that the odds are against me for every hand, but sometimes I'm going to win. I'm going to walk away a winner, even though I've got a slight uh, disadvantage to the house. Now the house loves to have me come in there because, you know, though I might win a few times, they know that, you know, if I come in there a thousand times, they're going to get most of my money. <laughs> right. right. That's how it goes. And if we think of that, that's kind of how it is with option trading too. It's very similar. Like every time we're making, we're buying an option, it's like we're buying it from the casino and we can win sometimes, you know, it does happen. But if we do it a thousand times, you're probably not going to be a net winner buying options. It's going to be the seller. And the great thing about the options market is that you can take either side of the trade. You can become the option seller or the buyer. And most people are just, Honestly, they're just a little too afraid. They don't really understand how it works. Uh, they're yeah. scared. They've heard some stories about people getting blown up. And yeah. it's just, it just doesn't feel natural. It's kind of like shorting stocks. People don't like to do it because right. it doesn't feel natural. But it's they go one of the better ways loss, to make money. Right? <laughs> and they, they say it's an infinite loss. So you, you pull up the cell one naked ES, and it says you max loss is minus $1 million. And you're like, well, no. <laughs> the market would have to go to zero for you to lose a million dollars. Yeah, yeah nobody so. wants to wake up to that in the morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I see some yeah. kid stuff back there. What do you got, Russell? You got oh, we just had a newborn a baby. baby. Huh? Yeah, we just had a baby. So we, um, yeah, just had the, our first baby to, uh, seven weeks ago. So right, life's been pretty hectic. Congratulations, so. man. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, we're getting started a bit late in life, but it's um, you know, it's you never know what life's. I don't see any bags under the eyes. That you look like you're getting a little bit of sleep. Looks good. Well, and the reason is um, trading. So trading and and making money. We've been able to hire nannies and and really like up our lifestyle in terms of like <laughs> get that you know get that problem. So it was a problem. It was just a fussy baby, but we've yep. been able to make enough money from trading to pay for. All this extra help, so I don't know what I do without it, because I'd probably be running up the walls or something, just upside down, like some sort of monster on the. T so yeah, so so it's things like selling selling options actually that have, that have helped supplement the income significantly. So, um, so that's why I'm such a huge fan. Um, of you know, that's not like this new thing we're doing with Alpha Hunter, which is the, the right. new product we launched back in July. So it's been about four months now. We just wrapped up our fourth month of trading with Alpha Hunter. Uh, my my goal with that from the get-go was to take like the strategy I didn't think anyone would actually be interested in. So I've been I've been selling options for a long time, kind of behind the scenes. Uh, but it doesn't turn out a lot of people were in, they want to buy options. They want to have stocks they can make yeah. you know, two or three hundred percent overnight, really quick. So we try to we've tried to provide that. But the my favorite strategy, the best one I've done for years and years, is just boring selling options, like just trying to sell options in any market. And, uh, you know, there's a there's a specific strategy to it and there's lots of ways to play it. But not a lot of people wanted to do that last year, even in 2001. But in this year, we found a lot of people are really interested about other ways they can make money outside of just buying options. And Alpha Hunter has become incredibly successful. Uh, and my goal there is to show people how I'm taking a, a relatively small account 
and trying to make ten thousand dollars a month with it. So that's my goal. Yeah. Every month I start a brand new goal. Uh, today's the first of the month. I just started a brand new month. I got my first trade on today. Yeah. And my goal is to make ten thousand dollars every month. Yeah. My average size trades around thirty four hundred dollars. I think if we look at the spreadsheet where I track all the trades. Those and are so far I've been hitting that ten thousand dollars a month. Sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower, but on average. We've been hitting yeah. that goal so far. So it's off to a really good start. Yeah. And it's been a really challenging market, right? I know the yeah. last couple of months, especially, a lot of people gotten really beat up in the market. And the fact that this strategy has made money in real life, in real time, that it, yeah. it's giving people some confidence. Like, yeah, there's there's something out there that could work. Maybe I should try Definitely. this and try to learn it. And for you guys watching this, we're actually going to go through some of the trades. We're going to give you the spreadsheet that which is really fantastic. So a lot of services won't even document their trades. And Jeff has done a meticulous job of having a publicly available spreadsheet, which is nicely done where you can see all his past trades, uh, every detail of them from Trader Sync, everything is great. And including current trades that you're in, but you've missed out the strikes and things and the ones that you're in, right? So that the public don't see that. But the people- Yeah, you know, that's one question I get a lot from people. It's like, hey, can you show me the, the trades? Your, it says open on your spreadsheet, but I can't see the trades. Right. And I'm always like, well, you know what? I don't, you're just trying to get my trades. You just want to see what trade <laughs> I'm in right now. And uh, all my members get to see the trades. So all my members get to see my trades every day in an email. And I also send out an app alert on your phone every morning when I make trades. So you can see everything, but it's I only show my closed trades on there from the spreadsheet. But everybody can see my trades if you're an actual member. So that's it. Yeah. So, so my hope for this session really is like we can talk about this stuff. We're we'll getting questions about. I like how you pop up already. the questions here on the screen. That's <laughs> great. That's really yeah. cool. <laughs> and so the hope is that we can kind of go through that and then we can – Go through some trades. Go. I'll, I'll post a link to the spreadsheet so you guys watching in real time can you know look at the spreadsheet as we're talking about it because sometimes it's hard to see on the screen. Yeah. But then also, you know, Zeke's watching, got a great question here. It says, is, Al yeah. "Is the Alpha program good for beginners?" And I, I got to say, absolutely so because I think it's like I said, it's the foundation of what I think everybody should be trading. So while we all like to buy stocks, you know, it's fun to get a penny stock that makes a big run and. It's fun to buy Apple when it makes a nice move, or it's fun to buy calls and puts on options when they work. The foundation really should be selling options. Um, my son, a few months ago, he was 17 years old, right before he turned 18, I was teaching him how to sell options before he went to college. So we did this training program um, for like a month, like once a week, I'd sit him down live with everybody and we'd walk through the very basics. So he didn't know anything about options or options selling at the time. But I walked him through like in four weeks, we got from the very beginning to actually making trades and seeing how this works. And even a 17 year old, he gets it. and He's actually doing it now and being pretty successful at it. So I think it really is for beginners. It really should be for beginners. This is the kind of stuff that everybody should learn first yep. and then build other strategies on top of it. But because option selling puts trading in your favor, that should be the one thing you start with because it gives you an edge in the market right away. And right. if you can learn that, it's the best foundation you can have. And then you just add other things on top of it when you want. Right. And this is the problem. I did it in reverse. I spent five to 10 years buying I do. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people do. And I remember thinking, oh, what's a condor? What's a, this stupid butterfly thing with wings? This eagle, blah, blah. Like, you know? <laughs> and I think it just put me off. I thought, why can't I just hit buy, like buy stock, stock goes up, stock wins, make money. <laughs> um, but that is the, the secret, and I would honestly say the secret to consistent income in the stock market is selling options and spreads. Is, uh, and that's after, I think, 10 to 12 years now of, of trading. Um, right. It, it like takes a while. I mean, yeah. I remember I was in college like over 20 years ago. I'm pretty old. So <laughs> over 20 years ago, I was back in college. I was studying finance and economics, and I, I kind of landed in some PhD-level option classes. And we, we talked about how to calculate all the prices and – how to do options, but I never learned like any of the real trading strategies or how to do these. So I've got a pretty high level uh, uh, education in options, but the, the best education really came like the decade after that, where I, I really learned how options work, it's hard knocks, like buying and losing options and, and figuring out how to sell options was really an eye opener for me. So I really kind of landed on that about a decade ago. And we're kind of refining that. And, you know, today I've got a really, really good strategy for how to sell options 
on yeah. a regular basis. You know how I think I take the the lowest amount of risk. I make a decent profit and try to do this over and over again. And I I really do equate it to like a casino. Like it's not a system where you're gonna win all, all the time and you just kind of can't. It's not a it's not like a, a fake trading system where you got some scam or a little gimmick that's just gonna five hundred dollars a day. Be a millionaire tomorrow. It's one of those things that. You know, you're gonna make a hopefully make a little bit over and over and over. So do it lots of times, and you got a slight edge. You do it over and over, and that's about all you can ask for in the market, right? Cool. You just have something that's gonna win a little more than it loses, and you can do that over and over again. It's great, right? It's right. great. That's that's really what I, I teach, and that's what I do, right. and then I demonstrate it real life. So you talk about that spreadsheet. That's kind of showing all the trades that I've made in that service so far. So almost yeah, like 100 now, I think, in about four months, but. I think yeah. that everybody can talk a big game. Everybody likes to talk about their trades, but I actually make the trades and I show people and I show them before I make trades, which is the biggest thing. I think that's how you actually learn. Well, you it, can't it learn also just way back testing something. It also proves though like your strategy is legit as well, right? Because people are not missing trades. So it's not like some sort of back retro thing where you know, like I was in here and then really never could get in. They get in before you a lot, and Jason started doing that a lot too with his, yeah. his services, like pre alerts. I think is what you would call them, kind of thing. We're getting quite a lot of questions. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to stay organized here. So we do want to go through the spreadsheet um, in detail and talk about the strategy and what trades you're taking, what tickers, that all that kind of stuff. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Sounds good. And then I mean, I think Tom's got a great question right here. I get this one a lot too. He says he has a $4,500 account. What's the minimum to start? And what level do I need to achieve 10,000 bucks a month? That's a, I get that one all the time too. People are like, great. Good day, good. I want to make $10,000 a month. How do I do it? I've got two grand in my pocket right now. How do I make 10 grand? You don't. Like, honestly, <laughs> with 2,000, you're probably not going to make $10,000 a month. But I'm also, I'm not, I didn't, I could have done this with like a million dollar account and, you know, easily made $10,000 a month. I don't think that was a problem. But, my goal was I picked a number that I thought was reasonable. So 10,000 was like a reasonable number. And the reason I picked it was because that's about what it takes me to live every month. Like yeah. I don't, I got a house that's paid off. I got to pay taxes in my house. I got to pay some insurance. Yeah. I got a kid that goes to private school and I like to go to nice restaurants. I like to eat pretty good. Uh, I don't need a ton, but 10,000 is kind of like what I need to make every month. And I wanted to show people what that was like with a reasonable size account. So I'm not saying it's like a $2,000 size account. No, I, You definitely could start there. We all start there. But um, the trades I make, I typically have about three, maybe five at most in my account at one time. And each trade is about $3,400, $3,500. So like as you look through that spreadsheet you said you, you're going to pull up, that's yeah, about yeah. what it looks like. And, you know, it, it's going to be different for everybody. So I don't, I don't know like – where everybody sits. And I can't recommend where you would be and uh, what that would look like for you personally. But uh, I, I, my average trade size is not that big. So here, here's the spreadsheet. I'm just sharing it on the screen now. I can scroll to wherever you think is a convenient starting right. point. I think we're at the top at the moment. Well, you know, just start, you're right there at the top. That's great. Yeah. So we started Alpha Hunter in July. Like I said, we, uh, I've been doing this for a long time behind the scenes. And then I had like this test program, like the first – Four, five or six months of the year. So between January and uh, June or so. And I did this test program with a handful of people and it was really successful. We made about almost $10,000 a month. I didn't have any goal at that time. I was just kind of trading. I was, I was actually trying to have just a really high win rate. So I was trying to make about 90% win rate. And that was kind of one of the, the problems I had was that um, having a high win rate doesn't matter. Like nobody Win rates sound fun. So like if you win 80 or 90%, sure. it sounds great. But at the end of the day, what I really care about is like that profit and loss chart going up each month in my account. So I really want to make money every month. That's the most important thing. And so I started off trying to go for a win rate. And I did make about $40,000 initially uh, through, through May or something like that. And then we launched Alpha Hunter like to the main. We got out to everybody back there in July. So July, you can see the first month. I didn't have a ton of trades, probably. Well, we kind of started towards the middle. You can see the first trade was like July 12th there. Uh, it was yeah. Tesla. Tesla's the first trade. Yep, totally. You know you're going to have a good service when Tesla's your first trade. Right. <laughs> so Tesla was the first trade. It was July 12th. We had about, it looks like about a dozen trades that month. 
a uh, couple losers. You can always see my losers and all my winners too. Yeah. But I did hit that ten thousand dollar goal even in kind of a short month. So July, good start. Good start in July. Hit that yeah. ten thousand dollar goal. Yeah, and it looks like you're doing some decent tickers as well. It's not like nonsense. I mean, you're doing Spy and Tesla. You know, like. Um, well, I think as you go on, you're going to see it gets even tighter. So what I did find yeah. is that uh, I think I don't think I need to focus on a bunch of tickers. So like when I'm buying stocks or options, I have like a basket of about 50 different ones I'm looking at all the time. And it, I don't really need to have those the ones I'm selling. I, I really can just focus on like 10. I feel like I see about 10 stocks I work in. So it you're going like to see that. a lot like today, when you get back to today's list, you're going to see yeah. a lot of Q, QQQ, SPY. You're going to see Tesla still. You'll see Microsoft quite a bit. You'll see UVXY. These are all very active, very liquid uh, major stocks and ETFs. They're just easier to get in and out of. And I'm really trying to just play market trends in general. So that's that's a big part of it. So but you can see July, we started off great first out of the gate, got a $10,000, no problems. So that sounded good. Uh, well, then we scroll down to August, right after that is our first full month. Full month of August. Yep. So August had, you can see there's oh, yeah. more trades. And Might we had true. about, we had close to, we had close to $10,000 in profits. We had uh, about 9,700, I think. Yeah, 9,700, yeah. Anyway, 9, also on the sheet, um, like you said, I linked to every single trade on there on the spreadsheet. So you can go back and look at all the, the actual trades. That's all tracked by TraderSync. So it's all a third party software. Uh, this is it's a Google spreadsheet. So I keep track of all the trades, but I actually link to all the actual uh, trade results. If people actually want to go back and see the timestamps and all that stuff. Yeah, I can hear. I know there's a lot of people who are skeptical and don't believe stuff. So we no, just put that on there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. So we, we go back and timestamp. You can go back and look at every trade if you want to and pick it apart. That's fine. Uh, and then September. All right, September was a really tough month, right? I mean, if if everybody here is honest with yourself, like in, in September and October, you probably didn't make money. And I mean, there's probably 90% of people here lost money in September and October combined. Really, really tough trading months. Uh, I, I was still profitable. So look at that. We still made 20 hundred bucks in September. It was still shy of my goal. So my goal is $10,000 a month. So it's a little bit shy of it at that point, but I was still profitable. So I was actually, I was actually pretty happy. I kind of rattled off some nice winners towards the end of the month, but I did take some bigger losers in September. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the good things about the program too. It's like, if you talk to anybody else out there, they just kind of scoot all the losers under the table. Like all they want to do is say, Hey, you know what? I made a thousand bucks on Apple. Isn't that great? You can make a thousand bucks on Apple. Then you lose it. <laughs> what about the five losers you just had, Bob? Uh, ah, yeah. forget about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know what? If we're if we're really trading, we should we should track every trade because we're we're doing this for real, right? We're doing everything, and we're doing it like we need it to survive. Like you gotta you gotta treat your trading as a business. You gotta be real about it. You gotta track what you're doing, and I just think having transparency like that's so important. So you can see all the losses and the months that I don't do so good. You're going to see all of that too. Yeah. But that's also going to help refine the strategy. Like you'll see some bigger losses in sep September, but I'm not going to make those going forward. I really let some yeah. things go too far and right. I took some bigger losses than I should have, but you're not going to see that going forward. So if you yeah. fast forward to October, yeah. which I think was a much tougher month in the market, honestly. Right. But you did your 20,000. <laughs> it, it was the best month of the service so far. Yeah. So we had, you know, twenty thousand dollars in profits in November. I mean, it's in uh, October, and the losses. I think the losses were the key because the losses were kept to a much minimum. Lower, yeah, 20, was some, you know, some like twenty hundred dollars. That's terrible. But I, I tried to keep things less than a thousand, and then my winners. I'm trying to make a thousand or two thousand. Sometimes maybe three, but that's going to be pretty rare because yeah. my my trade size, my average trade is only like thirty four hundred bucks. Like I said. Yeah. So I, I, it'd be impossible for me to make $10,000 in a trade. I can't make a huge <laughs> right. trade. So every trade is going to be 3000 bucks or less. So I just can't do it. The, the cool thing is with the um, with those two months, you still average 10000 right? Between the two, <laughs> I'm still 11000 or something. Well, that's it. Yeah, so the average, like if you scroll lower, like we're still on pace. Like even with the bad month, right. 
I'm still hitting that ten thousand dollar target. Right. So, what, like, what if I still had to pay the rent here with this service, I'm still doing it. <laughs> uh, here's the problem though, with a lot of people. The so in September, I know a couple of people that joined, but they didn't give it a chance. They got caught in a few of these losers and right. got really grumpy. And then they probably they may not have the I, I don't know what they've done, but they may not be continuing like to trade with the service, and they missed out in the whole of October. <laughs> so. Well, you know, the way, the way I look at this kind of trading, it's like it's like you've got a coin, and if you flip it, you've got a 70% chance it's going to be heads. Yeah. That sounds great, right? So it sounds awesome, but 30% of the time, you're going to have tails. You're going to lose. Right. And you, know, you could flip a coin three times in a row and still get tails three times. Like, it could happen. You could have three losers in a row, even though you've got a, you've got a 70% edge. Like, it could happen. So it's possible and it will happen, but yeah. you've got to stick with it. You've got to, I think everybody should try this and, you know, start with just trading paper money. Don't even try to real account, yeah. just paper trade it. Try like uh, 10 or 20 trades, try it out, yeah. see how it goes. See if you can replicate what it looks like. And if you get the mechanics of it, right. and just see how it works. I think after 20 trades, you'll see that, oh, you know, I probably won 15 of my trades here. Right. That's and pretty good. If, like if you just have five losing. trades, you might lose three or four. I don't know. It could, you could have a bad spot. I don't know. Like yeah. if you came in and just took five good trades I had, you would think, oh, I can't lose. I just won five trades in a row. Right, right. But it's not true. I think if you look at all my trades, I've won about 70% of the time so far this year. So yeah. it's not like 100%, but it's more than 50. And that's kind of what you need. You got to right. win more than you lose. You have to limit your losses. And it just works out by taking uh, more trades. So what we're really trying to do is uh, find a system that lets uh, time decay work in our value, in our favor. So uh, one of the biggest things of options is that they lose value every day. I call that paying the rents. Yeah. You're buying options. you got to pay rent to the seller. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to collect every day. We're not trying to be right on, you know, guessing if Apple's going to go up or down tomorrow. We're just trying to collect the rent on Apple. Like someone's got to pay the time decay on that option. And if you can be there to collect that every day, it's a little bit, but it adds up every day. So we're trying to take lots of trades and trying to collect a lot of little wins every day. And at the end of the month, hopefully it's that $10,000 number or more. That's, that's really the goal. That'd be uh So a couple of, a couple of quick questions about your strategy in general. Um, stop loss. How are you defining your stop loss? Do you have a particular like line in the sand or do you wait for a signal on, I don't know, black box or like what's your, what's your, yeah. when it comes to the stop losses, uh, I'm typically looking at the stock itself. So when the stock itself breaks down and gets below indicators I'm looking at, and it, it does have a lot to do with black box too. So like in October, I've started using uh, a lot of, a lot more of the AI enabled signals. So I've been implementing more like my own custom strategies, but then I'm using AI signals on top of it to kind of give me a confirmation of when I should get in or out. That's actually helped improve my win rate a little bit. So I'm using that more in my trading. And I, I trade it like a stock. So like when a stock gets below a certain point, I just want to cut the loss and be done. Well, it's the same thing with selling options. Once they get below a certain point, I want to be done with it and move on. But I've got I got it with selling options, I have a wider range. So I don't have to stop out just because one day below where I want to get out. I, I've got time to wait these things out longer. And yeah, so Tom's question about the four thousand five hundred dollar account, I've been wondering that too. So the ten thousand dollar a month, it depends, I guess, on a lot of things like how many trades you have to be in simultaneously. You know, like how much overall capital, like is it fifty thousand dollars, like for some months, but maybe it's only twenty thousand total capital because you know how you're in trades and you have to wait for them to clear or whatever. Like, right. is there a feel for that, or is it just kind of? Can they scale yeah, you know, down? if you scroll to the bottom of that sheet, we, we can go over some of the stats. I think that helps people understand more, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So if we look at the bottom, or way past right there, way. we can see that, all right, so we got October. You can see the total profit in the four months is $43,000. But the, the average trade size, like that's a really good one to keep a hold of. So I'm, I'm not making like a $100,000 trade every time, like I said. Right. These are $3,500 trades, basically. Yeah. So it's not a large trade. So if your account's $4,500, you obviously can't make, I'll, I'll typically have three to five trades in my account at any given time. So like if I've got five trades, 
that could be almost $20,000 there. So if you have a $4,500 account, you obviously cannot trade as much as I'm trading, but it's I'm not trading like a million dollar account is what I'm saying. This is not a really large yeah. number. And it's not really meant to like replicate. Like I'm not trying to say like if you put $5,000 in this strategy and follow every trade I make, you're gonna make $10,000 a month. It's like, I'm really trying to teach a strategy where you can have an edge and try to win more often than you lose. And it's going to be a lot better than and some guy out there telling you he's got a secret to buying <laughs> options that's going to make you a millionaire this month. It's like, yeah. that's not going to happen. I'm saying yeah. that you you can make money in the market, right? I can't guarantee you will, but I'm telling you, it's very possible. And I'm demonstrating it in real time with real money and real trades. And yeah. I'm going to teach people exactly how to make the trades, exactly when I'm getting in, when I'm getting out and kind of hand holding people through the process to show them like what I'm doing. And, and uh, if you want to learn from that, it's, it's a really, really valuable thing to get in your, your trading toolkit. Definitely. Yeah. And you're doing bull puts, bear calls, iron condors, short iron condors, which you have no idea what is because I'm not really a spread trader, but yeah, and that, kind of, that stuff kind of scares people at first too. Like, Oh, I don't, I don't know what that is. And like, right. You know what? That's why I kind of go back to my son. Like my son was 17 years old. He's a high school he was barely a B student, not a really smart guy, actually. And he gets <laughs> like in four hours, four, we had four training sessions over a month. He absolutely gets it. He understands that, oh, it makes more sense to sell option to buy them. Great. I get that. And he understands how to put these trades on, like why you want to sell an expensive one, why you want to have insurance on your trade. Like, so one of the big things in options is people are scared because they think they can lose their whole account if they make a bad trade. Right. And the way I'm I was like, you cannot do that. If you, if you do it, I'm telling you, you're going to set up a trade that has a, a set amount of risk. And as long as that risk is okay with you, you cannot blow your trade up. Like it doesn't matter like how bad something goes with or with. So no matter what, as long as you understand what your risk is, you cannot lose any more than that. And yeah. if, if that risk makes sense to you, then, you're going to be fine. You cannot lose any more than that. And that's a big relief to people. Like, all right, I know how much I can lose. I know how much I can make. I know I'm probably going to win more often than I lose. It's just math. You're going to win more often than you lose. And the way this all works together, it's like, well, all right, I will have some losses, but I know over the long run, I'm going to win a lot more than I lose. So if I take a hundred of these trades, I know I'm going to be on the right side of the trade. So that's a good thing. And that's what I really want people to get the handle on. Yeah, definitely. And it, and so so I'm a member, like you said, I've been a long-term member of Raging Bull Elite. So I'm in Alpha Hunter. You can see it on the screen, hopefully, at the moment. It's one of the three services, Bullseye Trades, Bullseye Unlimited, and then Alpha Hunter. Alpha Hunter is the only one that sells options, as far as I know. I haven't seen you selling anything in Bullseye Unlimited. but um, and no, so other two, other two, I just buy options, so, so very selective, but they're just for buying options. And so, um, so going, th going through this... Is it possible for somebody who's never sold a spread or an option to learn how to do everything that you need to be able to do to say follow an alert? So if you put out an alert saying just sold iron condor, blah, 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 blah. If they've done any training in here, is it enough to get them to the point where they would be able to be like, hey, I know what to do. I want to sell that strike at this, this strike at this, this expiration, you know, or is it something that might be a little trickier? So I was looking through like stock options explained. And I think in there, there are a bit, there, there is some stuff in here about spreads, right? This course that you guys have. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a course we put together a little while ago. Uh, actually, yeah. if, if you didn't go to an Ivy League school and, you know, top 10% top of your class, you'll never get this. You'll never, it's, it's you'll, you'll never understand it. Never understand it. No, no it's, you'll never get this. So never. it's only for the most elite people out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So I see a module here, Iron And Carter, my 17-year-old uh, C student public school kid. Yeah, he gets it too. <laughs> Anybody can get it. It's like it's it's kind of like um, it's like a foreign language almost though. Cause like the yeah. first day you sat in Spanish class or whatever, like you didn't understand, you couldn't habla no espanol at that time, right? You didn't get any of it, whatever the language it was stood. But you know, after a week or two, you kind of understand the basics of the how to put the words together, you kind of understand. It takes a little bit of time, but people will get this really quickly. It's really about you want to sell what's expensive. You want to buy what's cheap. So we learn how to make a spread real quick. You're going to sell something that's expensive. 
You're going to collect that money. You're going to insure yourself by buying something cheap behind it. So you've got a limited amount of risk. So I teach people to make these risk adjusted trades that have an amount where you know what your maximum loss is. At the same time, you know your maximum profit. And so when you get close to a maximum profit, you know what it is and you can cash it out. You don't have to wait. You're not going to guess. You kind of know what your maximum profit is. Take it when it makes sense for you. And then when your maximum loss, you know what that is. And just don't walk into a maximum loss. Like get out of trades early. Uh, having some discipline is a big thing I teach people. Like it, it's okay to take losses. So I think one of the biggest things people will learn from me is how I manage those losses because those are the things that set most people back and they can't recover from. Like they've got a big loss or so and they, they just, they get so defeated they can't recover from it. But you know what I've got, so I've got like almost a hundred trades and I'm winning about 70% of the time. Well, that means that about 30 of my trades didn't work out. They were losers. And for most people, those losers are what just defeat them and they can't bounce back and make it. But I think like if you watch how I bounce back from losers, like, like, all right, that was a loser, small loss. Let's go on. Let's move on. Let's get another trade. Let's put it on. I know the next one is still likely to work. So I'm going to keep doing this over and over. Yeah. With, I mean, with normal trading, you're going to be like, well, I got a loser. So I really got to be careful now. I don't have much more to lose. So I got to be really careful to get back in. I got to take my time. My strategy is like, you know what? I had a loser. So what? I'm going to get back in. I know I've got an edge. I know that I've got an edge. Every time I take a trade, I know that I'm more likely to win than lose. So I just want to keep trading and trading and trading. So it's all about putting more trades on because you know, at the end of the day, the more you put on, the more likely you are to win. So that kind of sure. it, it resets your mindset really as a trader. Like you want to get into trades more. And do you think the, the the fact that the VIX went up quite a bit last month helped your trading strategy? Because a lot of times that's what screws over option buyers, right? <laughs> and like the VIX has been pretty volatile. And I'm wondering if that, that's what helped option sellers last month. What do you think? You know, I, I mean, I think October was a very tough time because it was so choppy. That's why volatility was right. so high because yeah. stocks were up and down, up and down. Every day is like, you don't know where it's going to go. Well, so, Honestly, I think that that was just a good example of why the strategy is good because it doesn't matter. Like I'm, it doesn't matter if things are up or down tomorrow. I can still make money on them. And if if things go wildly out of whack one way or the other, I take a loss. Well, I just kind of reset and do it again. Do it I know again. that it, I know that kind of rare events happen, but rare events are rare. They don't happen all the time. So my strategy takes advantage of things being pretty normal and within a good range. So you're going to have things outside of that occasionally, but normally you're going to stay like within the zone. And as long as stocks stay within normal trading then or somewhat normal, <laughs> it's going to work. So you're going to have periods where things are really crazy or abnormal, but on average, things are going to stay within the norm and, and that, that should make money. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. So there's loads of questions. We can go through those. I want to point out that if you are interested in joining the Alpha Hunter system, um, Jeff has kindly offered an extra discount on top of an already ridiculously low price uh, for you guys that are watching tonight. When I post the link, though, I'm going to give a coupon code. And once that coupon code is out there, it only has 30 minutes for people to use it. So they really don't want to take off any more money than the bargain price <laughs> that these guys are selling their, their services for at the moment already. So Yeah, you know, I, I, we have a discount running right now. So for all our members, exact our reachable people, we have a a discount running already. So that's on the page, but I wanted to give your guys a discount tonight on top of that. So the way I would like to do it is like, I know it takes your time. You, you sat here for an hour and listened to this old man blabber about options. <laughs> you deserve, you listen to two old man blabber <laughs> on options. So you deserve a little discount. So I'm going to give everybody an extra 10% discount, but that coupon code's only going to be good it's actually good until 8.30, so it's not a quite half an hour, but 8.30 Eastern time is when that's going to oh, end tonight. So it's on a timer. Yeah, I wasn't sure how he was going to do that, but yeah. But this is not some fake marketing strategy. This is the real deal. I talked to these guys earlier. This is, you know, it, it is a coupon that expires. It's not like expires and then restarts again tomorrow, you know. <laughs> it's, no, no, it's no. It's one of those things. Like, it really is. Like, if you want it, get it tonight. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to have you in the program. It, it is a great program. You can, you can join tonight. You can get access to the dashboard that uh, Russell just showed you online. So you can get access to everything. You can start studying the program, start 
uh, learning more about options. Uh, I do a live session every week and you can get access to that session. So you can come see me live. And that's a great time for you to come personally, ask any questions you want for me. You can sit there and I'll answer all your questions about uh, how to set up these kind of trades, the risk, anything you want to know about that. We can do that live each week. I usually do that. I, I do it every Tuesday. And I usually have a Thursday or Friday session too. We kind of do spur of the moment, but there's always two sessions a week. Yeah. And then every morning you'll get my daily email. We talk about uh, what trades I'm in. So I give you an update on where things are at. Uh, I talk about new trades I'm looking at each day. And then what I'm looking at for like, you know, how I want to manage losses or take profit. So I talk about that. And then you'll also get um, the app. So you can install the app on your phone, which is really, really important. Because that's how I'll communicate in real time as I'm getting ready to make trades. So what I always try to do is uh, tell people before I'm opening a trade, I'll say, hey, I'm getting close. You know, Tesla at this price, I'm really close. Here's what I want to do. And I'll tell you before I make the trade. And then hopefully it happens. I, I put my order out there before I get filled so you can see it before I even get it. And uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes I'll say, hey, I want to buy Tesla options at a dollar. And it never quite gets to a dollar. But I but usually I try to put it out there just so you can see it before I do it. I feel like that's the most fair. You can see everything I'm doing before I make it. And uh, that you'll see the email in the morning and you'll get app alerts as I'm trading during the week. And I typically make like a couple trades a day. So uh, like I said, I've got three to five trades at any given time. So my average hold time is also about a week. I don't know if you saw that in the spreadsheet, but my average hold time is about seven days. So I'm typically not like in and out of trades really quick. I'm typically in for about a week. So uh, there's usually something I'm buying or selling every single day. So that's kind of how this works. Yeah, definitely. So I'm just kind of showing them as you were talking there, the, the landing page that we're going to talk about. Uh, I figured I'd post the link for the for the deal and then also the um, the coupon code as well, since that will give them an extra 10 minutes right on top of the 30. If you got set. it. Go get it. So I'll post that in the chat and then we'll start going through questions and, and go from there just so you guys don't miss out on the uh, on the on the deal. So let me just post that into the chat just now. Uh, let's see, control V. So okay. And then one thing we should go through. So I just posted that into the chat, the link that you need to go to, and then the uh, the, the the coupon code is take 10, which is you know, take 10 is in take 10, and that's 10% off. Well, it's already a really low price, which is really cool. So yeah. um, we can go through the prices a little bit, but I thought maybe we'd take a little break and go um, do some questions, then come back to the the selling part of it, right? Like trying to get people to, <laughs> to yeah. join you and, and, and change their financial futures. There's always a lot of questions. I'm really happy to go through them. So just fire away, gang. Yeah, I'll start, I'll start putting them up. So uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so starting way back here, um, this one, selling options, is that when you tie up capital? Not necessarily. You can tie up a lot of capital or a little capital. <laughs> it depends on how you do it. What's your feeling on that, Jeff? Um, you know, so the good thing about these trades, too, is that it's a set amount of capital it takes. So right. uh, what you really have to do is have enough capital set aside to cover your losses. So because every trade we make, you know what your maximum profit could be, but you also know your maximum loss. Your broker only cares about your maximum loss. So if you can cover that loss, that's how much capital you have to have up as margin. So uh, in most brokerages, you can open up an account that'll trade the strategy, which is usually it's a level two option. So there's like four level options. Uh, level two is like one of the most basic ones. You're just selling, uh, you're, you're selling spreads. So you got a fixed amount you can win or lose. And you can typically have an account for about $2,000 to do that strategy. So you don't have to have a, a full $25,000 margin account either, just so you know. But check with your broker. Yeah. Uh, okay, Andy's next. Andy says, if a stock is volatile like Tesla, can you still make money selling options? Do you roll to infinity? I've never seen you roll to infinity. <laughs> I never roll options. <laughs> no, you, know, I don't, I, yeah. you know, one of the early things I learned about option trading was guys say, oh, I'm just going to roll that trade. I'm just going to roll it. You know what? That just means you lost. So, hundred percent. Like I said, we're just gonna roll it. It's like ah, it means you lost. Just take your loss, move on. Rolling it just means you kind of just like 
uh, delay your loss. I'm like, you know what? If I lost, I'm just going to lose. I'll move on to a trade. So I've never I understood that. <laughs> I totally agree. I never understood it. Uh, but I, I do like Tess a lot. Volatility is actually a really good thing when you're selling because the more volatile a stock is, the the bigger the range that you get to sell your options. So I don't actually sell a lot of options on stocks that have like a tight trading volatility. That doesn't actually work good. Tesla trades about twice the volatility of the market usually or more. So it's actually a really good stock to sell options on, I find. So when you, when you have certain chart patterns that line up where it makes sense, uh, selling options on Tesla is a, a really good one because you got a really nice buffer on it. So you can be you can be kind of wrong on Tesla and still win. That's one thing I like. Yeah. All right. Got another one from Ray C. 100 contracts per trade. Won't the commissions kill you? You weren't taking 100 contracts per trade, were you? I didn't... <laughs> sometimes I do. Yeah, you'll see sometimes I'll do 100 contracts. Yeah. Uh, one of the things is that uh, option pricing has gotten a lot different. So like when I trade at Tastyworks, uh, it's, it's a minimum of 10 contracts. Or no, it's a maximum of 10 contracts. So yeah. I'll pay up to 10 uh, contracts. So it's That's typically like $10 per trade for each for each side. Yeah. But your max is out at 10 uh, contracts. So 100 contracts... Yeah. Doesn't cost me any more money at Tastyworks. Tasty I can trade a thousand part. contracts at Tastyworks, and all I gotta do is pay for it to ten. Yep. So Tasty is the best. If you're gonna do selling options, it's yeah, I, I don't get paid. I don't get paid anything for that, but I I should because I probably <laughs> referred them a thousand people over the years. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Sosnoff is a billionaire, but I probably yeah. gave him a hundred million dollars on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I referred a lot of people to Tastyworks, but Tom. You know it, man. You built a great product, and I really like Tastyworks. I use it personally in my own trading. Yeah, absolutely. But when you're when you're trading there, you're gonna pay up to well, up to ten contracts typically. But after that, there's no added cost. So you know yeah. it it really doesn't matter if you trade ten or a thousand. It doesn't matter. And then I'll, the other thing I like is the exits at Tastyworks. They're not gonna charge you for your exits either. So um, I used to, at some like a merit trade. They don't charge you once you get like under a nickel but they're still going to charge you on your exits in general. So sometimes I try to let my contracts ride to zero just so I could try to avoid uh, more, more fees. And that can get you in trouble. Tasty works. I like it. Once you make the trade, you can close it for free. So right. check that, make sure that it's the same deal you're getting, but that's, that's the way it typically works there. Isn't it crazy how some things might put people off, right? Maybe a lot of people are sitting there going, 100 contracts, that'll be so much, you know, and then oh, it's just one little fix like that. And hopefully webinars like this, can help people make that that decision, right? Where they're like, oh yeah. yeah they don't, they don't think of that. I mean, I mean, commissions are definitely something to think about. And stock yeah. trading nowadays, it's virtually zero, right? There's no cost to buy a stock oh, anymore. Yeah. But uh, with options, there's still a cost. And even if you think you're smart, and you're gonna trade over at a um, Robin Hood or something like that, there's still a cost. If they, 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 they tell you it's free, but they're giving you bad executions. Right. And they're selling your option contracts to Ken Griffin and. He's screwing you over. So don't think your uh, Robin Hood trades are free. <laughs> There's always a cost. At least with Tastyworks, I feel like I know the cost. I'm paying the money, but I'm getting a good execution. So that's what I yeah. want. Yeah, for sure. And so Brendan's saying, I just joined two days ago. Uh, new to option selling. Is the amount you're credited the trade size? Yes, it is. The amount I'm credited, that's the, that's the amount I collect today. That's the trade size amount. That's the most money I can make on the trade. So I can't make any more than that. Uh, like when I when somebody when I sell Tesla puts to somebody, that's somebody betting that Tesla is going to go down. And if I'm at a spot, I'm like, no, Tesla's probably going to stay flat or go up. Then I will sell them that contract, and they're gonna they're gonna pay me that. So like they're gonna give me a thousand dollars today. Say okay, I think Tesla's going to go lower. I'm like all right, I don't think it is, but I'll take your thousand dollars, and then. What happens is in a few days later, it either works or it doesn't. If Tesla's up, I've made a lot of money, or if it's flat even, it doesn't have to go up. It just go flat for a while. I'm still going to win because that time decay every day makes money. If, if Tesla stock goes up when I sold puts, I'm definitely making a lot of money. But I'm taking their $1,000 today. That's the most money I can make. I can't ask them for any more. I collect their $1,000, and then... Once I make like four or $500 of that, well, I'll give them back 500 and I'll keep 500. That's the way it goes. That's my goal. It's like, I'm going to give them back some of their money, but I'll keep 500 bucks of it. 
that's typically how this works. <laughs> Andy has another question. He says, nice short-term option spreads. Do you know your sharp ratio? That's not something I've ever calculated for any of my trade positions. Is it something you've ever done? I don't really. I used to look at – I've got a – I don't have a PhD in, in finance, but I do have a master's in economics, and I've taken a lot of advanced option courses in PhD level. So I do know sharp ratios. And I used to think that the more I would calculate all my odds on things and I would know better. I don't I don't know my sharp ratios, actually. I don't, I don't keep it – I don't think I like it's something that makes me a better trader there, so I, I can't tell I, you. I agree. It's, I agree. Um, it's like a lot of the Greek symbols with options. Like there's a lot of Greeks out there. And I just think like there's, there's an overkill. It's much like uh, like technical analysis. Like there's too many lines you can have. <laughs> chart at the end there, right? yeah. so I can only look, I, I can't have 30 lines on my chart. I don't get it. Yeah. It, doesn't make, it doesn't make me a better trader. Like I feel like there's a few things I have to, I have to like turn the knob on. So I've got like five things I monitor and that's about it. I don't really, I don't really monitor things outside of that because it just doesn't matter to me. Michael saying, hi, Jeff. I can only do covered calls in my registered account. Do you have a lot of these kinds of trades frequently? You know, if you can do covered calls, you probably could do the strategy, honestly. You should talk to your broker. So covered calls and selling spreads are typically in the same option category. They're typically level two. So selling, uh, selling covered calls, that's a very, very low risk strategy because you own the stock and then you're selling calls on top of it. Well, selling spreads like we're doing here, selling verticals, that's a that's a pretty uh, it's a pretty low risk side of option trading. So you probably can do that if you check with your broker. Um, yeah, so I would I would check them first of all. You you may, you may be able to do that even though I don't think you can. Um, do I do a lot of covered calls? I do not do covered calls with Alpha Hunter because I, I have to own the stock to do that. So what I'm doing in this is I'm. Um, I'm selling an option, then I'm buying one behind it to protect myself. With well, a covered call, you're buying that stock to protect yourself and then selling an option on top of that. So this is a very similar thing, but I'm not buying the stock in this strategy uh, like you are. But I, I do like it, man. If you're doing covered calls, you're already on the right track, I think. That's a really good thing that most people don't do. So you're, you're on the right track. So um, ASIC look was just looking to buy here and he said the code did not work. I tried the code earlier. So let's take a quick break from questions and just walk through the order form and see if the code actually works or not. Right. <laughs> I don't so, know. I didn't try it myself. <laughs> I, I tried it cause I'm like, cool. Another 10% on top of an already bargain. So let me just walk through the spreadsheet here. So if you go through all the different like stuff up here, blah, 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 blah. You get down to the bottom of the page here right here this little thing hidden right here so if you see this it says have a coupon yeah put take 10 in there all right so a little bit on the small side um to see and so currently it's 597 for the alpha hunter pro and if you hit that earlier it did work and hopefully yep there you go see it goes down to 537 may have been a space between take 10 or something yeah. With, with coupon codes, you got to be really exact. So just try it a couple of times. Uh, we could also drop, you could also call our, our, our telesales department. Either yeah. Jeff Brown or Davis would be happy to walk you through that tonight or tomorrow. So yeah. as long I as think, you do that before 8.30 tonight, they could honor the code. We just can't do it tomorrow. So you'd have to right. call or email them tonight, but I could get you that information if you wanted to. And so the best deal actually is this one. This one is the, this is the key. Like, Alpha Hunter for life at seven ninety seven, uh, not really life. What it is is it's for the first year at seven hundred ninety seven, which is a really good deal. But then you can take ten percent off because of the coupon code, the take ten coupon code, and then every year it just renews at forty seven dollars. Right, man. We just we just had that offer because we never had a lifetime before. We just had that. And we just had a ton of people just join. Yeah, and they didn't they didn't get the ten percent discount like this too. So you're yeah. going to get an extra. 10% on top of that. So that's think about it, man. That's a, that's a hell of a deal. Think about using the service as long as you want for like 700 bucks. And then it's like $47 a year just to pay for the email and keep the lights on and all that stuff. So it's a really, really good deal. I mean, I think yeah. that the 600 bucks, whatever it is for the first year is great, but 800, less than 800 bucks for lifetime is incredible. So we've never done that before. 
It, it really is incredible. I mean, people are selling services for two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars. That's far inferior to this. So there's also this um this guarantee, this alpha portfolio guarantee. So you're basically saying that if you don't make ten thousand dollars a month in net profits in twelve months, so one hundred twenty thousand, then they get their second year of membership free of charge. That still stand? It looks like it does on the order. Absolutely, form. yeah. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this for a long time. I hope to make a lot more than ten thousand a month, but my average is going to be ten thousand dollars a month or more. Or you're going to get a whole other year added to your account at no cost. So you get a full another year on top of that, no problem. Uh, and also with any of our products, if you buy anything from us and you don't like it or you think I suck and it's terrible. We have a lot of services. So you can actually move into any other product at Raging Bull. So it's not just the guarantee on this. If you decide you don't like me or whatever, you can also move your credit into anything else at Raging Bull and try something else if you want to. So don't think you're ever locked into anything with us. We're not going to do that to you. So, Isaac, the, the code that I'm looking at, the, it looks like an issue with the code and link. What we're looking at, and I just walked you through, is the exact code that I sent. So... If you go to the um the you know this link that I showed up up here, so I'll put it on the screen. This is just my short. This is just a, a way I put to make links look a little nicer, right? Like instead of having like all the junk that comes with long, oh, yeah. long links. And so if you purchase through that link there, which is in the in the chat, the coupon should be taken. in. So I, I literally just pasted this U URL into my browser, so it should work. Um, email me if it still doesn't. Um, I'm sure we can get you figured out or something. Yeah, I just emailed you, Russell. Uh, I mean, emailed uh, Jeff Brown's information. He's the guy that can help people out tonight if they have a problem. Uh, or if, if you can't get a hold of him tonight, just leave a message or send an email, and he'll get back to you tonight or in the morning sometime. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, um, yeah. If you got any problem with the website, don't worry. Just, call, just let our guys know that you were at the event tonight, and he'll take care of that. So just let me know what you saw us tonight. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. So if you, yeah, because if you have a, a problem, you know, because the, the you know the code just goes off in the next half hour, and, and it would be a shame if you. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. If you told me I'm gonna get an extra ten percent off, I don't want to pay full price. I'm gonna get my ten percent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, but, like I said, it, it ends at, at eight thirty, so we got like half an hour left. It's gonna work. So I know that if we can't get it fixed by then, don't worry about it. Just call or email the, the team. They'll take care. Of it. Don't worry about that. Uh, Brendan's asking the loss seems like two to three times the max profit. Is that correct? Yeah, it could be. That's the other thing about selling options with this strategy is that you could have a loss that's double, not usually triple, but it could be about double what you take in. So that's what a max loss could be. So for one of the benefits you get of winning more often than you lose is that you could lose more than you can make. So there's, there's the trade off there, but you always have a chance to get out before that happens. So it's always up to you as a trader when you're going to decide to take your loss. So you don't have to take a max loss. And you'll see in my trading, it's very rare I do that. I always try to be disciplined and make sure I get out. I do honor stops. And if you do that, you're not going to take a max loss either. So it'll be very rare. You'll have that sometimes. But that's also the good thing is that there's always a handful of times during the year as a trader that you're going to get blown up on some trade and you're going to wish to God you had a max loss in place. And with this system, at least you've got a max loss. Like you're going to be, thank God, you know, that stock went down 20% and I could have lost everything on that trade. Well, at least in this thing, you've got a maximum loss. So you, you couldn't have blown up your whole account like some other strategies. So you always have a max loss. And it tip, the way I do it, it typically is about two times what you could make. So if I could make a thousand dollars, I could lose two thousand. Worst case, but it's rare that ever happens. Rare, rare, rare. Um, what is the option so Pulse service? You mean the um, Alpha Pulse? I think that's what you were yeah, called. It's called Option. It's called uh, Alpha Hunter. Right. The uh, Alpha Pulse is the system I use to uh, make the trade. So that's why I talk about in the live trading sessions all the time. So I don't have my charting in front of me, but I would show you the exact uh, parameter I look for in my charting. So Mainly looking at uh, Keltner channels, looking at 20-hour moving average, looking at hourly charts in general. Those are things I use to make uh, short-term swing trade calls. And I kind of walk go through that in my live sessions too. But that's part of what the Alpha Pulse system is about. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> that's a good name for it for sure. 
It sounds oh, good, doesn't it? Alpha Pulse. It does. Alpha Pulse, <laughs> like, yeah, it does. And Alpha Hunter's also a good name as well. Like, you got to get that predator name in there, right? Some sort of like. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not very creative. I only had like three products in my whole lifetime here. So um, <laughs> I think Total Alpha was the first product I ever had. And I always liked the name. I think one of the guys over at Agora had something similar. I was like, oh, that's a cool name. I, I think it was like. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Someone, I can't remember what the guy was, but it was Alpha something. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I, I took the Alpha name, and we had uh, Total Alpha was the very first product I ever had. And now five or six years later, the second one <laughs> is Alpha <laughs> Hunter. So I don't I don't make a lot of products very often, and they stick around a long time. So uh, you, know, you don't have to worry about me, like, redoing anything next week, by the way. I, I stick with this. This is not a product, like a gimmick, and, like, it's a brand-new – thing that's taking advantage of some government loophole or doing some kind of anomaly. <laughs> I guess it's real meat and potatoes kind of trade. I guess it's real stuff. And it's for real traders. And I'm I'm really doing this day after day. There's no gimmicks. You can ask me anything. I'm totally transparent. And if you really want to get better as a trader, if you want to learn something that could I mean I, I don't say this lightly. It could literally change your life. Like learning how to get a system in place that can help you make more money than you lose and win more often than you lose could literally change your trading, which will change your life. And if you can get the handle on that, it'll, it'll impact everything you do on trading and you'll never want to trade any other way. Actually, you'll, you'll buy and sell options very rarely after you learn how to do this because it's so powerful learning how to do this and learning how to win more often than you lose just changes your mindset. You're not going to want to do anything else, but do this. Yeah, for sure. For sure, and a, a recent story I have is um, so we decided to buy a new car recently, and we don't normally buy brand new cars, right? We normally buy used cars, <laughs> yeah, um, because it's silly, because you know. But the used car prices are so high at the moment; it's almost a no-brainer to buy a new car <laughs> in comparison. <Yeah. laughs> um, so, so what we did is we bought the car, but you know we normally just pay cash and you just you know pay ten, twenty, thirty thousand, just pay it out and you get your car and you instead what we did is we took that money started selling options with it financed the car and the, the income that is so consistent and so high from the selling the options that <laughs> that surpasses the car payment significantly <laughs> so sure there you go there's a free car because i'm not working it's one one trade a week so that's right <laughs> so it doesn't feel like work it's not like i've gone out to get a job to pay for the car it feels like i'm getting a free car and that's what option selling can do for you, for your life in certain circumstances so it really i mean you can just find a way to make any extra money in the market like that just changes your thing like if you can learn to do that collect I mean, on a regular basis it really does change your outlook on everything so makes you excited about trading again. And these are kind of markets that get people uh, discouraged. Like they go, ah, oh, I'm never going to win. I'm never going to figure this out because all you're doing is kind of betting the market's going to go up all the time. And you just got to learn, like, it doesn't matter. The markets are fluid. It doesn't matter if markets go up or down tomorrow. You guys got to have a range you're trading in, do it over and over, realize the markets are going to trade within ranges and they're not going to make extreme moves very often. And if you just kind of learn to play that, it's going to, I mean, it'll literally change how you look at the market. It'll change your life for sure. It, it'll make you yeah. excited about trading again. Oh, one last question, actually. I was thinking it's from me rather than anybody else. Well, actually, it was from somebody who asked me. This. He said, hey, I'm not going to be able to take every trade that Jeff does. Is it still worth buying um, Alpha Hunter? So I'm curious what your thoughts are in terms of, obviously, you have a positive expectancy with this. If you take a sample size, the chances of them winning – is just as high, right? Like it's just, you're just. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think like you said earlier, somebody bought the service in September and I had a few losses in September. So if you bought the service and you followed every trade I had for that little two week window in September, yeah, you may have had a really bad experience to say, Oh, you know what? This sucks. I don't want to do this. But I, I think people have to give it a chance. You've got to stick with it. You've got to be able to say, look, I'm not going to put so much money into it where I'm going to lose my butt if things go bad for a week or two, because you'll have some bad weeks. You might have some bad months. Who knows? It's going to happen sometimes. I might, I'm trying to make $10,000 every month, but I'm going to have months where I don't. Like like uh, September, I only made 20 hundred bucks, so I didn't have a great month by any means. I had some losses. And then October, I had a fantastic month. So 
if you were just in those few trades I had in September and you said, oh, this sucks and Jeff's an idiot. Well, you just you missed out on an incredible run in October when the market was going to hell. So and it wasn't like I was betting against the market. I'm not like a, I don't really know the market's going tomorrow. So right, I'm right. On stocks going down. I'm just betting averages all the time, betting the average and the average works out on average. <laughs> That's why they're called averages. So it works. So you, you got to bet um, amounts that make sense. So I think people need to say, some, first of all, you should join and you should paper trade every single trade I make. Paper trade every one of them. Don't risk your own money. It's paper trade. Do like 25 of those in a row. If you do right. that, you'll be in a really good spot. You'll see what works and what doesn't. Um, it, Mark Douglas said, one of my favorite guys, he says that if you make 25 trades in a row and you, you follow those exactly and you'll learn like what the right size is. And if, if you can make those trades and not freak out about what the size is, then you're making the right trades. If you're making such big trades that you're really excited or you're really scared, like you are trading too big. So you're trading too big. Scale down, trade small and trade a lot. That's really should be what you look to do. All right. I'm not I'm not anyone's financial advisor. I'm not your your coach. I'm just telling you over 20 plus years of experience, trading small and trading a lot is the way to go for me. It's the best way. And if you talk to any professional trader, anyone who's doing this a long time, they'll tell you the same thing. They do not take a lot of big swings. They take a lot of trades with a small edge and do it over and over and over. I uh, talk about like we talked about casinos earlier. If you, if you walk into casino night in Vegas and you got a million dollars and you want to plop that million dollars on a blackjack table tonight, they won't take your bet. They won't take your million dollar bet. You'd be like, what do you mean? I thought you were a casino. I thought you want to take all my money. It's like, no, we're not going to do that. But you know what you could do? We could love for you to make uh, a million one dollar bets. <laughs> like do that forever. Like just bet, bet, bet indefinitely. Right. Because they know they've got an edge over time, but in right. any one given bet, they could lose. Right. And so right. I'm not going to bet all my money on one trade, just like casino is not going to take a million dollar bet, but I'm going to make a million dollars worth of bets, you know, a thousand times, right? I'm going to do that a lot. And over time, I know I'm going to be successful. And that's, that's really what we look at as traders. Like there's, there's right. periods where you won't win, but if you do this a thousand times, will you win? And if the answer is yes, well then, you have what we call an edge in the market. And that's what I'm offering people here. It's like, there's an edge right. out there. You may not know it. You may not like it. It may not be the thing you want to do, but it's the thing you should do. Right. <laughs> right. And that's positive expectancy, right? That's the, the, the rule of large numbers, right? Where you have to yeah. <laughs> come out ahead eventually. It's just, you have to be able to see past the noise. The yeah, other sure. thing I wanted to say was like, it's $500, right? Like roughly for a year um, with the code and things. 500 bucks is low enough that you can afford to do some paper trading. You don't desperately have to try and get that $500 back trading these strategies. Use it as a learning tool. I mean, you pay a lot more for a lot of other, <laughs> for a lot of other things. So um, I'm telling you, man. So our programs used to be like $2,000 a year or more for everything. Um, but we've lowered our prices a lot because I know that's where people are at now. It's inflation. Everybody's, you know, everybody's cramped for money. These are as cheap as we can possibly make it and still keep the lights on as a company. So yeah. they're very, very reasonably priced. Uh, if you look at, it's the, I mean, I got two kids in college. I just moved to Virginia because I got two kids down here in college right now. And I'm paying for their tuition. And I can tell you, it ain't cheap. Every, no, every right. single class they're taking is a few thousand dollars out of my pocket. And they're not learning anything near what's as valuable as what I'm teaching people right here for 500 bucks. So I'm almost offended when people don't buy this because like, you don't think it's worth $500. I'm like, I know. <laughs> this is a lifetime of learning and education I'm putting yeah. on the table and, and showing you in real time and doing it. And if you don't get it, that's, that's fine. I don't need to convince you of it. I'm going to keep doing this on my own, but it's like, it's, it's 500 bucks gang. It's 500 bucks. And I, I don't know how to make that any clearer for you. I like, guess it's a great, great real strategy. It's not a gimmick. It's a real thing. I'm a real dude making real money every month. And this works. So yeah. uh, it works for me. So uh, that's all I can say.
Yeah, and then Joseph's asking again, does it include a basic course? Here's the basic course on the screen. I'll just make it full. This is a really good course. Like each menu drops down. It's it's um it teaches you everything. So he talks about condors a lot. So there's a whole lesson about condor stuff, even including a great bird. Look at that. <laughs> and all the all the different stuff with it. It sounds intimidating, but at the end of the day, it really isn't. It, the story I was saying earlier, Joseph, is I put off doing this stuff for 10 years because I thought it sounded complex and it's really not. It's literally as simple as you click a few buttons selling on different expirations, for example, instead of right. buying options. And that's all it is. And there's just a combination of different, it's different combinations of like sell this strike and price, sell this one at this one, put them together. And that's your put debit spread. And you know, like it's, it's, it comes second nature after a while. Um, it really does. And, and it doesn't take long either. People will get, they'll catch on to it pretty quickly. So it doesn't take long to get the very basics of it. And once you get comfortable, you really start just developing your own uh, parameters for what, what feels right for you and how you do these trades. And like I said, I've never met anyone who actually got into this, who said this sucks and they wanted to go back to trading, just buying stocks and options. All I, all I find, I'm telling you, I've done this a long time. Everybody I work with that I've talked to that gets into this, they start just digging in deeper. That's all they do is they get deeper in it. Like, I want to learn more strategies on selling. I want to learn more mechanics of it. They never go back. I can no. tell you, like, once you get into it, you will never go back. You'll love it. The, yeah, that's that's the way I'm going, definitely, for sh for sure. And I think um, – think And there's not just one way to do it. I, I don't have the magic bullet. I've got a great – entry like I've, I've got a great strategy that kind of works that a lot of people can learn but there's a lot of ways to do it like we were talking earlier russell you're doing a lot of options selling on your own but using something different you're looking at using uh s p futures or yeah yes the e minis, <laughs> e -minis even, yeah. yeah. there's a lot of ways to sell op options or futures and all you got to know is that by selling them, you're, the favor is with you. Like you've got the upper hand then. So look for ways you can sell, not buy. Uh, Racy has, uh, do you do butterflies? They're another thing I was scared of for so long because he sounds so crazy. <laughs> I don't. I know all these, all these little things are like scary sounding, but it's yeah, I do do butterflies sometimes. <laughs> um, that's as I'm looking to do more day trading and short, very, very short term stuff. Uh, butterflies are really good for that. For, for what I've done. So I'm going to be doing that quite a bit more. And so you'll get education on that and you'll see how I'm doing those as well. But those are great because um, if I set them up correctly, and I'm, the ma I can make like 500%. So the maximum I can make right now in my trades is usually 100%. But with a butterfly, I could make several hundred percent if I'm right on the trade. So I could take a much smaller amount and try to make a pretty big gain. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking at those too. There's something called a broken wing butterfly that one of my friends is getting into. Uh, apparently, it's really good as well, but I still have to learn what it is. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out these things. It's a broken deep wing. rabbit hole, man. Once you get in, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff going on in there. It really is. But I'm really glad to see that the um, that raging bulls going that way as well. At least with your services and Jason stuff, because. I really think that's um, that's smart. I think I think more and more people are getting interested in that style of trading. And hopefully, do you guys have more plans to introduce more sell type services? I know somebody else is starting this month, which is really exciting. So <laughs> yeah, you know, we've got we got more things happening. And it, it, they really are becoming more around option selling because uh, it's just what people should be doing. So it's it's kind of weird how things are coming full circle. Yeah, I think about. So we talked about uh, op, uh, Total Alpha. That was my first service, and that was uh, about, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. It was probably one of the very first option trading services out there. So we were really just looking to buy options mainly, and I would sell spreads once in a while, sell options. People really didn't – all they wanted to do was buy options. So I was like, all right, we're just going to buy options. But Total Alpha was really like eight years ago. It was one of the very first option trading services. And then options became – they blew up. Like everybody's trading options after that. You know, look at eight years ago, hardly anybody was. It was like this weird little weird sector of people who were trading options. And they're totally. all buying options. Yeah, buying and then it. options blew up and all the Robin Hood gang came in and yeah. now the whole world trades options. Right. Zero but, DTE as well. <laughs> well, so we're taking advantage of the zero DTE stuff. Mm -hmm. We're looking for ways to capitalize on that. And then selling options is it's like the new thing. 
I think when you look back, you look at five years, you're gonna be like, everybody's looking to sell options. And that this is why, because it works. So we're always trying to be ahead of the curve and what's working and selling options. It's just kind of where it's at. So you, you gotta be on board with it. Yeah. I mean, uh, Charles has a good question. How much buying power do I need to follow? Uh, like I said, it, most brokerages need about $2,000 in your account to make one of these kind of option trades. So you're selling a spread or a vertical in general. So that's what it is, selling a spread or a vertical, not selling a naked option. So there's a big difference. If you're selling a naked option, that's going to be a top level of option clearance. It's like a level four. And you'll take a lot of margin to be able to do that. So it's a very risky uh, strategy. It takes a lot of margin to do it. The way that I'm teaching people to set it up, it's a very low risk way to do it because you have a set amount of risk. You cannot lose more than you realize. So you know what you're going to get into. And that's all the margin you need to set it up. So most accounts can be set up with $2,000. Uh, the trade sizes I use, as you can see in the sheet earlier, it's less than 3500 bucks per trade. So that's about my average trade size. And I typically have three to maybe five at the most, but typically three. So like right now, I've only got one trade on. I don't see a whole lot in the market I like. I'm being kind of slow getting in the market again. I got one trade on at the moment. But at the max, I'll like five. But usually three is about average for me. Pretty cool. Any more questions, guys? That's been uh, an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not in any rush. Um, Jeff seems to be enjoying himself, but <laughs> there, there's no more questions, and we should probably just wrap up. And Yeah, I love uh, talking about this stuff, gang. So anything yeah. you want here, happy to talk yeah, about it. I can tell. So um, just want to reiterate that you only have 15 minutes left to use that take 10 code um, that will run out in the next 15 minutes. So make sure to use it. Um, I'm going to follow up with an email or two. So if you're on my email list, uh, you're probably going to get a couple of follow-up emails, but it won't be able to include the uh, Take 10 uh, code, uh, unfortunately. So um, if you're going to use that, I would use it in the next 10 minutes. You know, so. it's even without a 10%, it's still a hell of a deal. <laughs> but I'm always like, if you could, why not use it? Just get the extra 10%. Yeah, just, uh, I'd uh, rather uh, save 100 bucks if I could. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to sleep on it and think about it tomorrow, it's still worth. It's worth a hundred bucks for you to sleep on it and think about it tomorrow. It's okay too. I'll still be here. Yeah, and if if you guys are watching this in the future, because I know a lot of people watch this after after um, it's been like live and we do the replay, um, just look in the description below and I'll put the the links to the to Jeff service and anything else useful that I find down there to to help you guys uh, with this stuff. It'd be pretty good. Absolutely. All right, Jeff. Well, I guess um, everybody's kind of quiet now. So, all right. Um, still plenty of people here, but nobody. Everyone has answered. Thank you, gang. I yeah. appreciate it. Russell, thank you for having me back here tonight, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. No, it's always great. Always really good conversations. And it's really good to talk to somebody who, you know, does their own trades with their real money and, and, and does this properly and, and um, it is, is, you know, done this for a long time, you know, 20 plus years. So, so oh man, look at this. I'm getting old. It is a long <laughs> time. There's a lot of option trades in here. <laughs> <laughs> Every gray hair is an option trade. <laughs> it's like, no. All right. All right, Jeff. Well, thank you very much. And uh, let's wrap up there. And, All right, uh, gang. Thank you so much. Everybody have a good night. All right. You too. Thank you. Take care.